Hi, welcome back to Plantastic. This is Elokin again of Shooting Star Botanicals. I want to acknowledge that this is the first Plantastic video that's come out since the election, and I know people are dealing with a lot. I want to talk to you about passion flower as a plant to help you manage stress so that you're able to take care of yourself and show up to take care of others because we all need to be looking out for each other right now. Right, monkey? Thank you. <laughs> Passionflower is a wonderful plant for the nervous system. It's very calming. It's helpful for relieving anxiety and stress, especially for tension that's held in the body, in the muscles, and has a wonderful way of working with insomnia, helping you get restful sleep without being groggy in the morning. So this is the passionflower that I just harvested from the garden. So what I'm gonna do is go through and pick off any leaves that look funky. And once I'm sure that all of the rest of the plant looks good quality, I'm going to chop it up really fine. So the reason we chop herbs up very fine before we make medicine with them is because we're trying to expose the plant's cell walls to the medium we're using to extract the medicine, which today is alcohol. Once the plant is cut up small, all of those cell walls can be permeated by the alcohol, which will then pull those medicinal qualities out of the plant. So now that you have your passion flower cut up really small, and next you have a sterilized glass jar, you're gonna fill it up with your plant. And then I'm going to just barely cover it with alcohol. Any 40% alcohol will do, so that's most vodkas and brandies. And I'm gonna cover my plant so it's just barely submerged under the surface of the alcohol. I don't fill the jar all the way up because I don't have that much herb and that would dilute the medicine. Next, I'm gonna take a clean stone and I'm gonna press it on top so that I can make sure all of my herb is just below that medicine line of the alcohol and there's nothing stuck up outside of the alcohol. That's because any leaf that's not submerged in alcohol can attract bacteria or mold. In one month time, you'll take your tincture, which is your herb covered in alcohol, and you're gonna strain it. So this is also passion flower that's been sitting for one month covered in alcohol. And next, I'm going to take a clean nut milk bag, which is awesome because you can reuse it, and put it inside of a bowl and I'm pouring my tincture through this bag. And as this bag fills up with the plant material, I'll just keep squeezing it out. And once you've strained all of your plant material through this nut milk bag, you'll get the alcohol, which has pulled out all of the medicinal constituents of the herb into it. It will be preserved pretty much indefinitely. And now I've taken that alcohol and I've put it in a bottle. Make sure you label the whole way so you know what you're making from start to finish put a label on this put a label on this put a label on this the whole time or you're gonna have a magical mystery herb that you don't know what to do with so put the name of the plant the date and keep track of all your medicine and I recommend about 20 drops which is a third of a dropper more or less mm. three times a day this is gonna be a helpful one for supporting your nervous system during these challenging times. You can stay in touch with me on Facebook. On my page, I post a lot of actions you can take. And if you look me up on Instagram, hashtag plants for resilience, I'm posting a lot of different profiles of plants that you can work with right now to support your nervous system. Thanks so much for watching.